Busia, a border town between Kenya and Uganda, is home to a variety of mobile populations. Truck drivers, immigration officers, customs officials, sex workers, and businessmen. It is 6 a.m. in Busia. Traders hustling for business weave in and around stationary trucks that line a long, parched road. Music pours from bars, alcohol flows freely, and female sex workers gather around local clubs and hotels seeking out clients. With notable income disparities between relatively wealthy populations and impoverished women, paid sex is rife. This social context fuels risky sex and subsequent HIV infections. Sex workers and their clients along transport corridors face many obstacles in accessing effective HIV prevention programs. The International Organization for Migration, along with the Kenyan National AIDS Control Council and the Kenyan National AIDS and STD Control Program, is working to raise awareness on the issue. Sex work is hidden, but far from invisible. Sex workers in Busia despondently line against walls and alleys, waiting for clients. Some sex workers will see up to seven clients per evening. Those nights are the lucky nights, one sex worker told the International Organization for Migration. We cannot afford to have sex just once. It is dangerous to come here if you are single, commented one immigration officer. For those who are married, we must try and be mature. The problem is temptation. HIV affects us all. If you are not infected, you are affected. Truck drivers travel many miles across East Africa, often continuously driving for 24 hours. Tired, restless men gather in Busia to socialize. When asked about HIV, they respond, we do not have time to get tested. Malaria, backache and typhoid are just a few of the health worries truck drivers speak of. But HIV is on everyone's mind. I work here. I have sex here. I sleep here. I eat here. Many migrant sex workers rent a room in a hostel where they live, work, eat and sleep. With little income, they are forced to use their private space for clients. I can't feel any emotion. There is no feeling. I am just doing this because I have to. Sarah Namakula is a 19-year-old female sex worker from Uganda. She earns just three US dollars per shot, meaning sexual transaction. Her father died when she was just 13 years old, followed by her mother at 15, both from AIDS. Sarah had no choice but to leave her small village in western Uganda in search of work. Travelling across the border to Kenya, she found sex work her only viable option. Stuck in her small boxed room, Sarah waits for her next client with a fellow sex worker. I tried to find other work. I went to Nakuru to be a housemaid, but the money just wasn't enough. How can I bring up my family on 10 US dollars per month? I had to lie to my jaja, meaning grandmother. She thinks I am in Kenya working as a cleaner. In the heart of Busia's trailer park on the Kenyan-Ugandan border, the Kenyan government, in partnership with the International Organization for Migration, launched a new healthcare clinic targeting hard-to-reach populations. We see the Busia Trailer Park Wellness Center as a first step, but we can only prevent new HIV infections through strengthened partnerships, says the International Organization for Migrations, Greg Irving.